random last minute trip to California. Got a call yesterday from my friend out there. I'm gonna fly out, help him work on his car a little bit, get it on the dyno, make sure that tune's good to go, and then go have some fun on the track. Just arrived at the airport. Time to roll out. Well, got their security. No contraband so far, we're good. Now let's get on to LA. Get picked up from the airport. Got your best coffee ready to go. Get that crack. Get that crack. <laughs> Drive to your house. And then we can start working on stuff, I guess. Yeah. Do you have to work today? Yes, I have to work today. Uh -huh. Well, it is Friday, so it's payday, so that's... Like... You gotta be able to afford the race. You gotta be able to afford the race, yeah, that's uh -huh. a good point. <laughs> Look at the axles, though. they look pretty in there. The axles? Did you switch? To oh, you did. Pro levels. That good, good. Dang, pro levels are sick. With the inner hub being all beefy, beefy like that. Still on the world's smallest brakes, though. This is uh, the daily grind before the daily grind. Yeah. Uh, repair Chinese for your local people and then go to your again. Yeah. My boss just texts me right now. That's side uh, money. He's like, where are you at? So this this particular go around, you did a new rod in the car? It's got BME rods in the car. And that's different from before? Hey, you, run a you were on GRP before. But I mean, I was on standard length, so we went with the 20 thou shorter rod to try that out. Also because if we keep decking these blocks... It's the, not the a bad idea to have a, have a shorter rod. The head clearance comes into play. Yeah, for sure. Especially because on the Dartons we just well, and you're on burn a sleeve, we just drop a new sleeve in it and we deck the block. Sure. You're on a... Um, on a custom Aries? Or I'm on a Ken's Race Engine Spec Aries Turbo Piston. So you're on the Carry Piston. Okay, that's high enough compression that dropping your yes. 1,000s is probably It's like fine. a 12 to 1 compression. It's like 20. Or 11 and a half, 12, depending on the cylinder head. I gotta talk to Kenny next time we need a set of pistons. Yeah. You, you did a huge jump though back then. Did I remember? I did. I went from just like kind of a, a streetcar B16 like quick. When I when I met you, you were LS. I don't know what sleeve you had at the block, but you had eagle rods in the motor. The daughter. That's the only reason I know you guys because of those rods. And, because uh, I text Shannon. Shannon had posted his build thread on Honda Tech, yes. and I PM'd him. And I'm like, dude, did you say you made 900 on eagle rods? Because they're not supposed to make 900. Yeah. I was like, is your motor still alive? Like, is it fine? And he texts back like, yeah, it's totally fine. And uh, no issues. So I was like, cool. So then I just like put all Went for it. I put all the boosts. They said how much boost and you're like, all of it. All of it, yeah. That was the first time I was like brave enough to put the car on more than 25 pounds of boost. Yeah. And then what do you know? Nines nines happened and then nine forties, thirties happened. And then it was like that laggy like season or two where you're stuck at like that nine oh 30, 9, 40. Hey, me, I don't know if it's everybody. Well, for that, like a full season, I I, well, I went from like a lot of issues. I went tens to nines, like almost right away. Like and then you had that uh, I had M factory so, tranny problem. Yeah, I had a lot of tranny issues, and I just kind of was stuck. And then, and then clutch breaking. Right. And then, uh, and then I put it on new management. Had to learn that. And then the car started to go more consistent. Like I would go twenties and thirties all the time. And then this last couple passes with the newer precision, and I find it like a, no, dude, like a map. missing third with Motec and the new precision. Those were the only two major changes. That car still would go once, like nine one. Yeah. I went like four or five passes in a row. Yeah. Just you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
better get safe because I've seen how many uh, how many little scuffles you've been in. Right. Brand new truck, all the scuffles. Got them all. Oh man, food, I'm starving. Right. Go get some food. Are we gonna get food here or there? Dude, whatever you wanna do. I will eat whatever, whenever, wherever. But I am hungry. I drink that coffee on an empty stomach, like I said. Not sure that's the best idea. Just showed up to Shannon's house to go check out his car. Dudes out there. Yeah. It's really like not what we want to be doing is taking it back apart 24 hours before our race. Right. I haven't even been on the dyno yet. Finding out that Shannon's crank wasn't good, lost some oil pressure. So this is his car, kind of all taken apart. I'll show you all the stuff. Got this crazy tranny, super awesome turbo manifold. It's kind of an original design for a sport front wheel drive car. Pretty dope. Wisecraft fabrication. Nice block. I believe Doug at Power Pros put this together. He's actually setting us up with another short block right now, middle of the night. Gonna go pick it up. Got those web billet cams. All that good stuff. This is kind of the situation that caused it. The motor had uh, low oil pressure on startup. Um, and that kind of happened, so. Anyway, we got 24 hours left, so hopefully we can make it to the dyno. <laughs> Pizza! At two in the morning. Well. Bad boy bum. All empty. <clears throat> Let's see, he's got uh, got these cool new clamps for his boost. They slide up and lock. Kinda awesome. Cam from Ken's Race Engines, in case you didn't know from, I don't know, Instagram or wherever else, or all the motors he posts online every day. He's Pretty much. He's always helping people build his stuff, or build whatever they're working on. All different kinds of engines, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. They've got a lot of good advice. Uh, you can hit these guys up with questions. They're pretty cool dudes. And, um, yeah, we're going racing with them this weekend, luckily, so should be pretty fun. We got a light nap on the way over to his house because we stayed up all night working on Fame Racing car. Motor out, built a new short block, put another 
the short block in and then put all of his other stuff, cylinder head, everything back together. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's buttoning up the last of that while we uh, pick up uh, Ken's brother John and we head over to the dyno uh, to tune the Think Fat car. We're just heading over there. Jeez Louise. You know what, I should bring this down because Ricer definitely needs this. My goodness. Oh, this Ken, you have so much stuff here. Oh, well, I know. If you want to bring it, the camera Holy over here, cow. I have the NSX build that I'm doing right now. It's like this close to being done. So. Man, that thing looks super nice. Yeah, it's also super heavy. It's just a giant B series. That's all it is. That's pretty cool, though. You want to check this out? I got my stock of king bearings over here. Oh, you Ignore got... the ACLs in the corner. Those are for a <laughs> PQ. <laughs> and that's it. Are you filming? I am now. What up, John? <laughs> Howdy. AKA Roach. Where are we going? Uh, we are currently going to import Auto Pros uh, to Dino, Fat Kid's car. Nice. AKA we call that car Barney. <laughs> it's the polished turd. Yeah, I love that car. Hey, Ken. In the Ford now? Hell yeah. Upgraded from the Civic to a Ford. I don't know if you. We're going racing. For the kids. I uh, guess. Yeah, We're going to have Chitlins running around with us tomorrow. Motorcycles. So they can go tear at the racetrack. Yeah. Try it over to uh, Import Auto Pros, I guess. Yes, sir. Throw it up. See if we can go put the highest horsepower on their dyno, too. <laughs> crazy weekend. We got to work on Shannon's car, the Fame Racing car. Got to work on the Think Fat car. Uh, those cars are both major, man. Uh, crazy animals. Two completely different ones, but both crazy, crazy, crazy cars. Uh, I'm super excited. Even though the rain came and the race didn't happen, uh, two weeks from now there's a race in Vegas, uh, the Import Face Off, and we've pretty much gone to that race, I think, consistent for the last six, seven years. So I'm really, really excited to see what these two cars are capable of, and I'm just hoping for the best for that race. I guess this is it for this video. See you guys in the next one.